Hi everyone, this video is from A Mighty Wind Ministry, which can be found from AlmightyWind.com or AmightyWind.com. This video is solely for the praise, honor, and glory of the Holy Trinity, Abi Yahweh, Yahushua Mashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the Holy Spirit. This prophetic word was given under the anointing to a holy prophet, Yahweh God, my pastor, apostle, Elizabeth, Sherry, Elijah, Nicomaya. Abiyave, I pray you touch everyone who is listening to this anointed word. Please pierce their hearts and touch their souls. Help your children, Abiyave, your beloved daughters of destiny and your Davids to come forth and contact Yah's anointed handmaiden, apostle, Elizabeth, Elijah, if you have been touched by this word. I pray that the wolves in sheep's clothing that may be listening to this will be revealed for who they are and see their demise. If it is not too late for them to repent, and if they had not blasphemed your Holy Spirit, please help them to do so and not cross the bloodline of Yahushua Amashiach. I pray your will be done in all these things, Abba. Please help me to speak forth this prophetic word of yours under your anointing. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, that your word does not return back to you void. I give you all the praise, honor, and glory in Yahushua Amashiach's name. Amen. Before I read the prophet I want to read a little excerpt from Prophecy 105 titled, Ah, Yahweh, Say, In 2009, I'm going to shake everything that can be shaken. It says, quote, unquote, I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman, even before there was a ministry. I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hand. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that it has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has given birth. It is from the mouth of the Ruach HaKadosh, your Emayah that has given birth. If it had only been by your hand, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth, the holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath, or it would have failed. This is what Yahweh says and is seen in scripture reference Isaiah 42, 8. A mighty one was established by the Holy Trinity through Apostle Elizabeth and is not the work of her hands but of Abba Yahweh, Yahushua, our Mashiach, and the Holy Ruach HaKadosh, which is the Holy Spirit. Prophecy 12 is called, Daughters of Destiny Come Forth, spoken under the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh and given to Apostle Elizabeth Nicomiah. Beloved daughters of destiny, walk not in your own peace, but Yahushua's peace that passes all understanding. Walk not in your own strength, but in the God you serve strength. Stay not in the boat, my daughter, but walk out on the water with me. What you think is impossible, I will make a way. What blocks and hinders you, I will remove. Though the waves will look like they may drown you and the wind will roar, keep your eyes on your Savior and you will not drown. You are ordained to be a water walker, not a boat sitter. Run towards Goliath like a David. David did not run away from Goliath, though he mocked and threatened, though he towered over all men. David ran towards Goliath. David showed no fear, for he put his confidence not in man or king, but in the great I am, and I did not fail him, nor will I fail you. Fear is the opposite of faith. Hear me? Fear is torment I did not send. David, when he was mocked and threatened, did not reply what he would do, but instead what his God would do. David did not expect to slay the enemy with the five smooth stones, for they were not even sharp stones. David knew his weapons were not going to kill Goliath. Only the wrath of Yahweh would kill Goliath. I put my wrath into those stones. I slew Goliath by a young shepherd boy that people mocked when he came against the enemy. They said, he shall surely die. He shall fail. How can a mere youth slay a giant? These words they say to my daughters now. The enemy speaks forth in many ways and says you will fail. You will die if you go against the enemy. You are weak and not meant to minister in Yahweh's name. But my daughters of destiny, I have chosen you. I have ordained you. 
I have strengthened you. Men are right. If you do this in your strength and power, you will fail. You could die, but you stand not in your might, strength, and power. You stand in my anointing, on my word, in my name, wearing my holy armor, washed in my shed blood at Calvary. My daughters, I call you my daughters of destiny this day, for am I not the beginning and the end? The great I am is the God of prophecy. The Alpha and Omega is the God of prophecy, for I have prophesied the beginning, and I have prophesied the end. Who but I am can do this? I will reveal my secrets to my daughters, as well as my sons. My daughters, I have chosen you to do the same as David. The enemy will mock and taunt. He will use others to threaten and harm. You will be slandered for my sake. When these enemies come against you, fear not what to do or say it will not be your words you will speak but my words you speak my beloved little ones do not think ahead of time what you are going to do do not have any fear when you see the look upon their faces they think you are to be controlled by man but instead you are not controlled by a king of this earth you are ruled by the king of kings david threw off the armor of this world and stood instead with the armor my armor god almighty thus you shall do also weep not when the enemy falls I am with you and no one can do anything I don't allow I love you my beloved daughter be warned all those that rise up against my daughters of prophecy for just as surely as Goliath fell so shall all those that cause my daughters of prophecy grief beware for I am watching I am listening I will judge those that judge my daughters for speaking forth my words as men protect women and I put that spirit within them to do so, how much more will I protect my daughters of prophecy? For it is prophesied in these end times I would pour out my spirit on my handmaidens, and they would prophesy. Whoever touches my anointed to do these prophets harm, I shall surely quickly judge. They had better repent before my wrath kindles against them. Now I am not speaking for the false prophets, for they come in the form of a man or woman. If they be false, then this must be exposed, so others will not be contaminating. But dare not touch or discourage or put your man-made ideas of what I would do and who I would use on my daughters of prophecy. Do not say Yahweh would not use these women, for they don't have the appearance they should. They have not our permission to speak. Who are you, O men of this world, to silence my daughters of prophecy? I chose those who are the most not likely to be chosen. I use those that would say to me, Oh no, Yahweh, you really don't want me to speak that or do that. Yet my daughters hear my voice more clearly than my son. I grieve for the pain my daughters of prophecy will suffer for my name's sake. Remember, I suffered for you. Being my daughter of prophecy, you will bring so many souls to me and have already. Not all my daughters of prophecy will have a so-called license. You have done more for me than many who call themselves pastors and are no pastors at all. So do not grieve when men will not ordain you. I have ordained you. This is all that matters. I will guard and protect and bless all you do and say. Be ye not unequally yoked in anything you do. Remember, if they are not for me, they are against me. Your eyes will see that which you rather not see, hear that which you rather not hear, but it will not be your eyes or your ears of the flesh that will feel the pain. It will be your spiritual eyes and ears. You will know blessings that are beyond your wildest dreams, and you will know sorrow. I will use you, my beloved daughters of destiny, to nurture the young, encourage them, and teach them, as you already have this instinct I have blessed you with. I will use you to rebuke, for again I have already put that spirit in you. As a mother rebukes, so shall you rebuke this heathen nation and all those that are led astray, and those that lead my sheep astray. My daughters of destiny, you shall have boldness like a mother lion defending her cubs. I will use you to bind up the wounded, for what mother does not have this compassionate spirit I already gave her? You shall use the gifts of a mother, teacher, warrior, and all the gifts of the Ruach HaKadosh has so generously given you. I have saved the best for last. Because men said, you can't use a woman. It will be the women that have the most powerful ministries in these end times, and the last
last shall be first i will be with you i love you my daughter as you read this you will know it is for you if you don't know it's for you then you're right stop reading it's not for you for all of the others who receive this message i put my arms around you whisper in your ears and tell you listen this message is for you i have given my daughters of destiny the spirit of david now go forth and take back what the devil has stolen in my name thus saith yahweh god of hosts given to pastor elizabeth sherry elijah nicomiah bride of yahushua